guys, welcome to Real Excel. I have uh, an unboxing video today. I wanted to open up a package today that has come in that I've been waiting for a little bit for. Actually, I haven't been waiting for it too long at all. Um, with Amazon Prime, you get your packages in a couple of days. And ta-da! Within a couple of days. So it could come the next day if you ordered early enough in a day. I've ordered another one of a storage of an external hard drives because the ones I had, they're both full. One um, that I have, well, there's a, which one, this one is a two terabyte. Okay, that's a two terabyte here. And I have another three terabyte, okay. And then I went to four terabytes, which is, uh, I'm gonna open in a minute. So if you have money to invest in bigger capacity, go ahead and do it, you know, because I mean, down the road, anybody who's creating, if you're editing photos and videos, especially videos, um, and you know, you have a lot of large files and uh, you wanna keep them, then you're gonna need a lot of storage, all right? And you really don't wanna lose your stuff because I had my um, I had a couple of laptops that actually crashed on me uh, well one laptop crashed on me and I think I two laptops crashed on, on my daughter so you know and then we lost a lot of data like I lost a lot of data she didn't put that much on it because she doesn't keep it I like to keep my files because then I can um, I can re-edit them later on and I like to keep the raw files I can create other uh, stuff okay um, so uh, I'm gonna start on it okay uh, so I got, I'm gonna do unboxing uh, um, I'm gonna do some I'm gonna read uh, some of the specs on the drive and I'm also gonna do the installation this time the proper way because I had another drive and I did the installation on that and because I didn't want to show all of my um, I didn't want to show like I had a limited uh, space to show so I couldn't show you guys uh, the um, the screen properly okay so now I've got a program to record the screen and that's what I'm gonna do. So, without further ado, I'm gonna open it up. Let's go for it. All right. Okie dokie. Here it is. If you can see it, hopefully you can see it here. All right, here and here. You can see this. Okay, it's my passport. Uh, Western Digital. Okay. Uh, this is is that an Ultra? This is not Ultra. Hmm. Okay, so this is not ultra, but it's also, uh, I think it's small. Yeah, I don't know how big it is in comparison to the other ones. Because uh, this is a two terabyte that I got first. Okay, uh, and this was my passport ultra, two terabyte. I filled it up fast, really fast. For video editing, you really need bigger space. Okay, and uh, this is a three terabyte that I have and I finally bought four terabyte but guys if you can afford buying as high as you can like I mean invest in a in a bigger storage uh, you know or two of equal so you can have uh, your files on actually two and your most important files you should always back up on one of those drives where you're gonna have uh, you know like some the important the most important ones always have two copies of because anything can happen 
uh, to laptops, to PCs, even to those hard drives, you know, and then the recovery, sometimes you can't recover the stuff. Like I lost everything on uh, from my laptop and my daughter lost uh, stuff that she had on her laptop. So uh, that's why I started investing in this because uh, this is you have uh, you have extra storage and you can put your files there to think about it you'd be better off investing in one of those uh, actually three and a half hard drives uh, which are SSDs uh, they have uh, the Western Digital has four different colors the black one is for the creative, so meaning for video, uh, photo editing, and if you're doing a lot of work on it, then there you have a red, blue, and uh, what else? So black, oh, red, blue, and purple as well, and they all do different functions. So if you are planning on uh, investing some money in actually a secondary SSD, uh, go ahead and do that as a, you know for editing uh, Because this is gonna be slower. This is just to store stuff. It's not really You know to be working on it. You can but it's just gonna be just a little slower. All right I'm gonna read off this package because I want to make sure that you guys have uh, This uh, that you know what it is. So it's my uh, what's in digital my passport it's got auto backup, password protection, okay, uh, portable storage. Uh, so it's it's small. I'm gonna take it out of the package soon, but I just want to read everything here. So this is a four terabyte. Um, it's got a Western Digital backup, so you can back up all your files onto this. Uh, it's a three. You know, I gotta change my glasses. Sorry about that. Okay, let me see if I can read this now. Easy to secure backup and security software to help secure your content. Well, secure, secure, secure. Okay, so contents of this package are a portable hard drive, USB 3 cable. Okay, so you have uh, USB 3. Uh, Western Digital Discovery software for Western Digital backup. Okay, to back up your files. Uh, what's in digital security which you can lock your you can lock your drive and put a password protection on it so nobody else can get into your files and um, well, what's in digital drive utilities so there's a whole bunch of EVO utilities I am probably going to be showing that to you okay and quick install guide so you have a guide to install this. Uh, I will be your guide for today, but uh, there's also a guide that when you open these files, you'll be able to read the guide. Okay, this is for Windows 10, Windows 8.1, and Windows, what, 7. Okay, I need a little bit of help here. I don't really want to break this in case I have to send it back. If it's bad, which I don't think because I had these two drives, these two here, babies, for uh, the first two terabyte, I think I bought it like four years ago. So, no, not that far. Maybe two or three years ago? Two years ago. Two, this is last year. And uh, yeah, this is <laughs> I, did, I upgraded one one more terabyte each year. Okay, now if I had the funds, I would have bought the biggest one that they can afford. But that was the biggest one I could afford. Okay, so guys, this is the package. All right. Now you have uh, a hello from Western Digital. Uh, okay, so which is the same thing? Need help? Support. Westerndigital.com slash contact. Okay, so if you guys need support, you have it all online. Okay, everything is done now online. Like there's no usually no phone stuff going on. Okay, so technical support and limited warranty. So this comes with with its own warranty. Okay. 
Now, when I bought this, I bought an extra warranty on that because the warranty I bought uh, was it from on Amazon? But I bought three years warranty on this, so um, if it goes bad, they'll just replace it with a brand new one, okay? Without having to send it to you know being fixed and whatnot and blah blah blah. I'm hoping for that. Okay. So uh, I am not going to read this because this is going to take three days to read. Yeah, look at this, I already ripped it. Wow, uh, uh-huh, I ripped it again. Okay, so anywho, you know, people know, and who reads this? Okay, now, everything nowadays is plug and play. So, look at this thing, okay? You practically, if you have, even if you're a woman and you're wearing a suit, this is small enough to put this in your suit pocket, okay? In your purse, in your pocket, uh, very, very, you know, and it's it's light, it's not heavy. Practically, I think it's the same, maybe just a little bit more, but it doesn't even feel uh, heavier than the other ones, okay? So take the packages off. Nice and shiny. Okay, my passport comes with the USB. So this is a 3 3.0 USB, okay? And how you know it's got the blue inside. Does it say on the no it doesn't say? I wish they would I just dropped that. I wish they would put like a 3.0 on these things, you know, just how much is it gonna cost them to stamp it? You know, each one of these. I don't know. And yeah. Okay, so we're ready to go for plug and play. And we're gonna do that in a minute. Because, okay, so I wanted to show you something, guys, okay? Uh, see this connector how it goes here all right now this connector fits wait where is this fits my Samsung tada fits my Samsung phone okay this is a very old phone but it's got the same, you know, the, if you have this kind of Samsung uh, connector, it will fit. Okay, you can even buy one that has, okay, on both sides that has this connector on both sides. And then you'll be able to take data directly from your, from your external drive, from your drive, uh, I mean from your phone and put it directly to your drive okay so you you buy uh, whatever it's called mail to mail so it would be the same uh, connector on both sides and they sell them everywhere so here guys this is what you're doing all right you plug this in oopsie I'm gonna make this actually minimize this because I'm not gonna, gonna so you guys can see everything on the screen Okay, plug it in, plug it in. All right, plug and play, remember. This is your best thing because uh, it's one of the easiest device setup. It's tough to choose what happens with unknown content. Right now we're not doing anything because we are waiting for this device to set up itself. Okay, that's what plug and play means. Now these two was were the same thing. Okay, I don't know with Windows 7 um, or, or like uh, older versions of Windows, I don't know because I've only used it on 8 and on 10. What's it doing? I think it was supposed to be setting it up. Okay, so it's still setting it up. Please well, wait while setup installs necessary files on your system. This may take several minutes. Mm -hmm. Several minutes and we're waiting for the stuff. Okay, so while we're waiting, let me see if I can get 
have some info for this. Oh, this is no way I'm gonna be able to read this. That was oh even in Russian. Okay. So different languages, blah blah blah. Okay, so it's set up. So it's ready, okay? It's already set up. Uh, we gotta find it though. Where is it? Mm-hmm. Ba bam ba bam. Oh okay, it's still working. Okay, where's English? English, English. So you have it in a whole bunch of different languages. Lots of different languages. Okay. So this is here important. It says save this information. A soft copy PDF of the user manual is available on our website. Okay, and the website is given here. Uh, you may, it may also be found uh, preloaded on certain products. Okay, uh, on uh, on the product CD supplied if supplied, which everything is plug and play right now so they probably had these when they started out in a different way now i just wanted to say folks that i have ordered i don't know if the other company that creates uh, that makes their hard the external hard drives if they have improved but i have bought two hard drives they were uh, that was way way back um they were bigger hard drives they were like I don't know four times as big they would they would look like a book so they were actually bigger bigger than this okay a little bit longer and I didn't like those drives at all um, I did they didn't perform perform well and maybe because the technology was new or whatever the reason but I didn't like them and I'm very I've been very happy with the Western Digital so if anybody uh, wants to buy external hard drive, uh, I would highly recommend Western Digital to go with. Okay, and um, I will actually, I will put the link uh, down below the video uh, for a page to Amazon where you can, uh, you know, scroll and look through uh, different sizes and of uh, these hard drives. And, um, if you want to go higher, there are companies who actually uh, supply uh, like hard drives that are like up to 24 terabytes. Am I saying gigabytes? I think I've been saying gigabytes. Okay, uh, my apology. They're terabytes, okay? There are companies that actually produce um, drives that are like really, really big. Uh, so you can check that out also and they also sold on Amazon. They are, I uh, you know, very expensive, but if you can afford it and you need a lot of data to be stored, okay, and I'm assuming or presuming that in the future everybody's going to be doing that. And I hope that they keep on making them as compact as possible. So you'll be able to, uh, you know, take these with you everywhere you go because, you know, I can just, okay, this, you put this in a purse, you put this in your... Uh, in your pocket and you know give it to a friend and it's a quick exchange of information okay I wanted to show you how okay how much space I have left like I have this is it almost well it's called two terabyte drive but it's 1.8 I have only 340 gigabytes and believe me I've been trying to delete files and remove files and those two drives that I have five gigabytes on those two drives some files are doubled uh, on those but it's because I really don't want to lose them so once uh, you know I'm gonna organize this everything is gonna be much better so uh, right now it's very my, lap my uh, laptop is very slow and I want to get rid of this stuff so then we have the my passport d okay on the d drive and it's showing for 3.63 terabytes remember that it will always have its own uh, space for uh, the drive to work for the utilities and whatnot so you have to keep that in mind okay 
Come on, I clicked on it. Okay, so. Western Digital Discovery Software Offline, in WD Software Offline Installers. I don't know what that is. Oh, for Mac and for Windows, which I'm Windows. So you, Okay, so this is where your backup is and your drive utilities and your security, okay? So if you want to put it, um, you want to do the security because you want to, you know, put a password so nobody else gets into your files. This is what you're going to do. And go back, okay, and then drive utilities. Let's see, install utilities, which I'm not going to do it right now. Okay, I might do it later, okay. And then the backup, okay. And you have backup, so you can back up all of your files from your laptop if you wish. Uh, I'm not going to do it. Um, uh, so for Mac, for Windows, and um, read me. So for Windows Run, for Windows Run, uh, Windows Western Digital Discovery Exa to install software, which it did by itself, okay, to help you get uh, a backup plan, set drive, set drive security, and modify drive settings. Let me see. Oh. Okay. So now you have it in Spanish. We have it in Italian, we have it in German, so different uh, languages, okay? So this is all good stuff here. Uh, so you can do, oh, look at this, nice. Okay, user manual. So this is an online user manual. So you can go online and uh, let me see, we want it in English. And I can do it in Espanol. Okay, so my passport. So, which is practically, I think, the same thing that's on this paper here, only it's online. So, you don't have to worry about the paper and you can pretty much throw it away. So, Windows 7, this one says it's like the the oldest that it will work with. So accessing online support, you have registration, downloads, email support, warranty, uh, get warranty, product replacement, status, accessories, data recovery, information, okay? So for data recovery, I mean, if you, uh, if you guys, uh, you know, lose your data because the, the unit gives up, uh, which I have not, I have not had a problem with the Western Digital for that, with these two. So that's why I bought another one. I'm happy with uh, Western Digital. So I don't know, like if any of you want to be going through this, uh, you can go through features. Let me just read this a little bit. So with a compact design, a high capacity and your choice of local or cloud backup, Okay, you can do cloud backup, which is really good. Uh, your My Passport drive fits perfectly into the busy life of anyone with uh, on the go digital life. Okay, backup automatically. So the My Passport drive comes equipped with the WD backup software that helps make sure your photos, videos, music, and documents don't get lost. Okay, so you can have it plugged in. And every time you create something new, it will, I think it will automatically back it up to, uh, according to your schedule. So you can schedule it to run, I don't know, whatever, once a day or whatever it is. I don't know what the schedule is. Uh, you pick the time and frequency to back up important files from your system into my passport drive. This is awesome. Okay. Yeah, so people did that on their regular hard drives. But then if your whole PC or laptop crashes, you won't be able to do that because the system is not working. With the backup on this, you'll be able to see your files on another uh, computer. So easy to use, portable storage is uh, ready to use out of the box. So you can start transferring files, saving your memories and backing up right away. It comes with all the software you need to help protect all your data, including 
WD Backup and WD Security Software. For the latest uh, product information and news, visit our website. And for the latest software, firmware, and prog uh, firmware and product documentation and information, go to support. Okay, mm, and then you can read up on other stuff. Uh, I think there was something optional. Where is this? I saw something optional here. Where is it? Where is it? Kit contents. Okay, so there's nothing to it. You have the cable. For information about optional accessories, okay? Uh, now you can buy, um, I've seen it on Amazon, uh, you can buy uh, a little cover for this, you know, like just have a little pouch to put your drive and your, and your cable in it, which is really good because, I mean, like this, you still, you know, when you're putting in a purse, you don't want any dirt to get in here or in your cable. So you really want to uh, be able to uh, store it securely, you know, and have it safe and whatnot. So uh, disk drive format, okay, don't do any formatting. And if you don't know about laptops, computers and how they work, never ever do formatting. <laughs> Your My Passport drive is formatted as a single NTFS partition for compatibility with all updated windows operating systems if you want to use the drive with a mac computer see reformatting the drive and troubleshooting okay so for mac you have to reformat the drive and troubleshooting so you have all the information that you absolutely need physical description uh power activity oh i was gonna say that uh this one shows like all of them uh, when it's in use okay they have a different uh where is this one this one had a little light because it was always blinking when it was in use so when it's in use what is the little blinking light on this oh okay see the little tiny dot okay all right so when it's in use it's gonna show all right you can register your drive which I don't know, I've never registered any of my drives. Uh, do not drop or jolt the drive, obviously, and do not move the drive during activity. Okay. Uh, connecting the drive and getting started, so connect the drive. So now, okay, now it tells you how to do this, um, you know, how to set it up. And getting started and you know what okay I'm not gonna read all of this because you can do it all by yourself uh, I don't have a Mac so uh, the discovery let's see okay what's going on didn't I click on this or did I click twice let's see what's in here so I'm not gonna protect monitor and discover okay so um, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, install it right now because I didn't install it for any of my other drives uh, I just had the like most basic installation the plug-and-play type of installation on it and since I'm the only one using my laptop, I never needed to uh, password protect it. I think I password protected the first one. And you know, if you forget your password and you have like thousands of different passwords for stuff, then uh, yeah, you don't want to be doing that because if you forget your password, you will not get into your drive. So yeah. Okay, so it's installing that. So I have restarted my laptop and there was a little where's the w see wd <coughs> i pressed the icon when it showed up uh, actually showed up before i turned off the laptop if you guys want to see this then let's see how long it's gonna take so click here to how easy it is so show us notifications start on system startup participate participate in a product improvement program no, you can see the utilities. You have the security backup utilities 
and the smart word. So I just click on the open and it should open. My laptop is really slow, so that's how you know you have to clean up your stuff because. Attached supported drive. The drive is attached. Okay, so it's not recognizing the drive for some reason, is it? Let me see. Okay, because okay, safely remove hardware and eject media. <coughs> Guys, I am gonna give you like one of the best tips ever. If you ever this is the thing to go to before you unplug anything that you're working on okay you go to this little icon that shows the usb okay you right click on it and then you can open devices and printers and you go eject my passport okay because it's asking me to attach it which is attached but it's not reading it so i'm gonna do eject okay so safe to remove hardware when it says that you can remove so unplug it and then i'm gonna plug it right back in okay what's going on okay so tap to choose what happens you don't have to okay you can import photos this is uh this is the windows application so this has got nothing to do with the drive okay mm. So now let me see if it's gonna read the utilities. Let's open the smartware. Let's see what's happening. <coughs> so, anyways, all of these icons, I can't have this on my here because this is too much. So I've created a folder for my programs icons. And program shortcuts and I'm just gonna dump it there what replace yes thank you so I was unaware it's categorizing my files what Wow so I was not aware of all of this stuff but just I want to move it here so you're not distracted by the files I have my, on my computer, on my desktop. <clears throat> there's the drive, there's the Dropbox, okay, Dropbox login required, I'm not going to do it right now, okay. So if I wanted to, actually I could back it up, uh, movies, music, uh, system files, 1.5 terabyte, what? Oh no, this is just one, this is the whole thing, okay. So documents, movies, which is good, it's ca categorized stuff. And you know what? That might be. I'm gonna see how much it needs to do the backup. If it doesn't need like a, a full, uh, you know, capacity that is actually using on my laptop right now, uh, which should be a compressed file, I think. Then see music nine gigabytes. We have movies thirty gigabytes. Okay, it's still working on it so pictures yeah that's probably gonna take a really long time because this is only yeah okay so this is something i want to just put down okay so the system is installed okay your drive is installed i'm gonna do it again make sure for those who are new at this Always right click on the USB icon to eject your media for everything, okay? Uh, for some reason my phone is not working like that because I have a really old phone. When I connect it to the laptop, maybe it's because uh, the, uh, what do you call it? Maybe because the cable I'm using is not the original uh, Samsung cable, I don't know. 
but uh, the connection is not that good and I, I, I don't like it so I've been using Kias for that. I would like to thank all of you for watching and sticking till the end of this video. And since I had some technical difficulties with the audio, I am filling in for it. I wanted to remind you that I have posted links in the description below the video to a page where you can look at different types and sizes of external storage drives. Make sure that you like, subscribe and share and I'll see you next time.